guys welcome to spaces arcade i thought today we'd take a bit of a look at the neo sd which is a multi-cart for the neo geo system um, it's a, a multi-cart that's based on the fpga technology i think it's got two fpga x chips in there um, or x fpgas and as far as i can understand it guys and again not a technical master on this at all uh, but the FPGA setup, uh, I, I believe it's, it basically can mimic the, the hardware that you want it to mimic. So rather than sort of um, emulating a system through software per se, the FPGA allows you, I guess, to sort of reconstruct um, logically uh, all the hardware gates and the logic of hardware as it would be um, on an actual hardware board and so from the purpose of the software that runs on top of it it thinks it's actually running on genuine hardware and so that's the real big benefit of FPGA type of emulation and the way to go um, it's the most realistic other than actually having the physical cart itself uh, as far as the Neo Geo is concerned um, it doesn't really distinguish the difference between the two it just thinks it's got an original cart installed so with that the, the Neo SD comes in a you know normal MVS cart and the MVS is for the the, the stand-up multi-video system for the arcades and uh, and they just plug straight into the system um, and then you turn it on and it boots up exactly like a cart basically at the end of the day of course you can run um, Neo Geo stuff through MAME. You can also run it through Final Burn Alpha and for a long time people have said that Final Burn Alpha uh, is the way to go in terms of most accurate emulation of Neo Geo stuff so, um, so certainly check that out if you want more accuracy. But MAME is, uh, is, is obviously keeps getting better and better and better and, and I believe the quality of MAME is, is right up there anyway but I, again I haven't done any really exhaustive tests between the two but really MAME um, Final Burn Alpha, probably better in terms of emulation from software side. Uh, and then you've got some some other options. You've got the um, you know the 161 and all in one carts um, that are commonly available on eBay, very cheap, running all the Neo Geo games. However, they don't they don't actually run all the Neo Geo games. They've got just a ton of bootlegs in there. because I think there's only about 130 odd actual released uh, Neo Geo games so there wasn't 161 in the first place and they're missing about 50 odd of the of the actual uh, ROMs because they've got multiple copies of bootlegs of the same game so many King, King of Fighter games in that series so those multi-carts uh, those cheap ones from China um, yeah they've got a relatively good selection on there but they are plagued um, with uh, a lot of sound issues that haven't been, because they just haven't been able to emulate that properly in the hardware that they're using. Um, and some games actually will freeze on certain levels and there's other sort of um, issues with it. And they basically circumvented the copy protection. So there's some graphical glitches as well uh, as a result of that and of the way that they're doing the emulation. So anyway, that that's... Um, that's a so-so sort of option guys but the good thing about that option if we look at some of the positives of getting one of those sort of carts is that it's a plug and play all right it's a plug and play solution and you can plug and play into your general um, genuine hardware so you are playing the you are playing on genuine neo geo hardware but because of the faults in the software and stuff itself it sort of really degrades the whole experience but for a plug and play quick cheap and easy get your neo geo fixed if you've got a neo geo cab that would tend to make quite a lot of sense if you're in the low price option. So certainly a place in the market for it. Um, then if you go step up, you're really then looking at um, the Neo SD or right now Darksoft has uh, released their uh, competing board in the space. And that looks to be extremely good as well. All right guys, so let's, uh, set the tripod up and I shall show you how the Neo SD works. Okay, so currently playing the King of Fighters 2003, um, this one particular game, there's a few other games that, yeah, have, have some unique hardware aspects in the original cards, so these are the ones to check for good emulation. Again, I'm not really, um, you know, I don't know the game that that well, so um, I can't really pick out any of the flaws. And again, if, if you're someone like me, who really, you know, isn't like a hardcore Neo Geo fan, doesn't know the games intimately, 
you didn't if you may not even notice if you, if you even if you were playing this on a 161 car maybe although um, having said that uh, some of the problems with those carts the 161 sound like um, they would be pretty noticeable in terms of sound dropouts and and uh, glitches and so forth so anyway um, so yeah, the, this is obviously loaded up through uh, Neo SD. Um, it's going to run and operate just like the uh, the original game. And one of the things um, with, with this um, running this game in particular, you see these bars up the top here. They're slightly tra transparent under there. And on the 161s. Uh, car, you'll notice that those are solid bars and I think it's got something to do with the way they bypass the copy protection I'm not sure exactly but they're just sort of some of the little things that would be slightly different um, on the 161s but yeah I you know when I'm running any of the games uh, in the SD Neo uh, Neo SD rather I, um, I, I I can't I can't tell the difference between you know running a real cart or running this so to get out of here and into the actual uh, the menu setup um, you can change the setup of this I'm, I've set it up to A and D and hold start and if I do that I get into the Neo SD and apologies guys if I have called it SD Neo on the way through I often interchangeably talk about it um, the other way around so you can see here the menu system um, pretty easy to flick through, you've got a little graphic here and you can go to the right and it will jump pages and stuff so fairly basic. So along here you can go along and, and choose any of your games, I guess I'll just quickly point out uh, some of the other things that you can do in here though, um, shows here that A is load, B is options and in the option uh, area you've got a boot mode, you can either once you first turn it on you can go straight to this menu or you can go straight to a game. Uh, you can choose which uh, game buttons you want to set up to trigger the menu system. As I said, I've got it set up as AD and Start, but you can change that to be uh, other button combinations as you like. Uh, the system mode, you can choose if it's... Um, now, it's got BIOS, MVS or the AES, which is the obviously the cartridge-based system. Now, just a, a, a quick thing on this. They actually released a separate version of Neo SD for the AES, which is the home console version of the MVS and um, they have different carts, they're different cart sizes um, and uh, oh, is it different cart sizes or the actual cart stuff the actual PCB is different within the AES system extra copy protection and stuff in there so the two aren't exactly com compatible uh, I believe you can get like converters um, to run I think MVS on an AES but anyway the, the Neo SD hasn't been set up to, to support that but it does have the system mode in the AES here, so I believe you can actually run the AES ROMs on on this system. And I know there is AES ROMs in the list uh, that I've got here currently, so um, I should be able to do that. But the bottom, I think the BIOS is just the default BIOS. So guys, sorry, I'm not exactly sure what the difference between that and setting that to MVS or just specifically saying you want to run MVS ROMs. Uh, maybe it actually filters out those, maybe not, I'm not sure. Anyway, that is the <laughs> the default, I've left it on BIOS, the region, you can choose your particular region, um, and I've just got it by the BIOS itself, so I gather that will just pick whatever BIOS it is for the game, um, for the ROM that you're using. Arcade mode, uh, if you have this on no, then you get um, free play on every game, but on yes, you'll have to insert your coins, uh, save, you restore your backup, uh, back, uh, back up your RAM is what you want to do and you'll save all your high scores and stuff I believe that's how that works I mean I know it saves high scores I'm not sure if that's the option that does do that relates to that specifically but yes uh, it certainly saves high scores and then you've got user interface sounds for this setup just having sounds as you move around and then the current version uh, which you can hop in and it will show you the version um, of the Neo SD so that's the options uh, the next one across is filter so what we can do is we can hit the filter and it currently says filter and we're in the action genre and you can see down the bottom there D is now genre change so this is showing all the, the um, action games and if you hit D you're going to go across to beat them up sports, driving, platformer, mahjong or mahong, shooter, 
quiz, oh my god, uh, <laughs> fighting, puzzle, other, and then back to action again. Um, so you can sort of choose between those filters. Now the way that this sort of works, a little bit not tricky, but just something to keep aware of initially, is that whatever filter you you rem remain on. So let's just change that to say um, say we want to we want to look at our the couple of platformers that are available <laughs> other than our geo so we want that to come up each time we do the filter so when we hop out of here um, now when we go to filter it's going to come straight to platformer now if we hit filter again it actually goes to our favorites menu so this is what's where you can actually add additional favorites um, outside of those genres that have been set up by SD Neo. Now I'm not sure if you can change those anywhere to be honest. I haven't looked that up in terms of which games are in which genre list or even the genres themselves. But you've certainly got the flexibility of saving games to your favourite list. And again it's very easy to, to do that. Um, if you come down here and say oh, look I like Blues Jenny. Uh, you can see that uh, T fave or tag favourite is the D button. Just press that and that's now been tagged so if I now go into the filter that's showing my platformer go to filter again there's my favorites and there's blue journey so I hope that makes sense guys it's it's, it's pretty intuitive um, I, just initially with the the way that the um, filters work uh, and using the genre button you just got to it's just a little bit of a trick because so you can see at the moment I can't change genres because I'm in the favorites if I change the filter again back to no filter turn it back on to platformers, I get the genre again and I can flick through the genres. I hope that, that makes sense. At the end of the day, there's not that many games anyway. Um, and you have you do have the option of, uh, you press the filter button again, you can hide the boot, bootleg, so you can also sort by uh, year, the developer, um, or the name. So you've got those options. So plenty of options there, guys, to, uh, to sort the games the way that you want them. Right, so... If I go back to launch current game, let's just pop back in here. You'll see what happens pretty much when I turn it on. And I will, sh I will actually just switch it off and turn it back on to show you the same thing. But if I hit A here, it actually resets the whole system. And it just comes up again as if the cartridge was, was in there for that game. And that's how you know quick and instant it is. So if I turn this off at the wall, turn it back on. Straight away, does its boot sequence, and you're in again. So yeah, that's what I, I like about this, guys, is I just feel like once you've set and flashed the ROM, it really is like flashing a cart with the game. Um, and then it's, uh, it's just like having that cart in there. So let me just show you now flashing and show you the duration that it takes. Obviously, each game is different in length. Um, so we'll hop out of here start a and d okay guys i just cut away there quickly because i actually locked myself out of the system i couldn't get back into the menu and that was when i was showing you the in-game trigger i'd actually flicked it like that and when i moved the joystick it said in-game trigger to none so i couldn't actually get back to the menu system um, but anyway uh, i did a quick search to figure out how to actually get back into the menu system and you simply hold down the start while turning on the machine that will force it to get into the menu so if you ever do that yourself that's the way to do it turn off your machine hold down start keep it held down and when you turn it on and keep it held down until the system uh, the menu comes up get this back to ad and start as it was so if we just go back into the game <laughs> and uh, do that process again so now i can go ad and start and get back to the menu just have to hold it down for a couple of seconds all right and now i'm going to show you just loading in another game so let's choose blues journey and you can see it does it's uh, a raising of the flash memory first and then it does the flashing and you can see for this one in terms of the way the progress bar is going it's not going to take too long it's not a huge game blues journey i'm certainly not showing you this to make it seem faster um i think the king of fighters or um you know like metal um metal solid um x is going to be pretty large and take a lot longer but you can see you know for the majority of games that are smaller it doesn't take long at all and again i think if you're not someone who's flicking in and out between games, it shouldn't shouldn't really be much of a concern. 
And there you go. So again, if I just turn the machine off, turn it back on, and bang it straight in. And, and guys, again, this is another thing I like about this, you know, not having to like boot windows and go through all that rigmarole and then wondering if Windows is even gonna work for you or MAME's gonna work for you with some other update that's happened. This is just effectively, you know, turn it on and start playing the game that you selected, uh, all nice and genuine. And again, the dark soft one's gonna give you that, that um, functionality as well, just with that probably a little bit of extra loading at the start, although obviously a lot faster whenever you're swapping games. And of course, you've got three loaded up, which you can also uh, swap between on the, on the dark soft one, which I can't do on here. Again, without me buying another Neo SD and putting that in the second slot in a two slot system. I believe you could probably go right up to doing that for six slots, but uh, I don't think anyone's quite got that sort of cash to, to throw <laughs> buying six of those. Although the Neo Geo games themselves are pretty expensive if you were to buy the full set. All right, guys, well, let's flick away from the Neo Geo. Let's just have a quick look at um, the King of Fighters 2003 on MAME because I want to show you that, you know, it runs perfectly fine on MAME. So let's just take a, take a look. And of course, one of the nice things you can do with MAME, uh, which you can't do with the, the Neo SD, is that uh, you can obviously have your marquees and, you know, running it through Hyperspin and Hypermarquee and have all your extra artwork and all the rest of it, which is a nice touch. Um, when you've got a main machine um, that you can't do on the Neo SD. All right, let's set this up on the tripod. Let's take a look at King of Fighters 2003 on main. Okay, put in a coin. And as you can see guys, it's completely playable and obviously, you know, in fact, even the uh, transparent bars are showing properly on MAME. So, you know, I think the emulation is on MAME has definitely come a long way. And as I said, I don't think I've got the, you know, anywhere near the latest version on there at the moment. And by the way, just one little gotcha I just saw um, recently when I was reading through just on some of the latest MAME. I think from, point, uh, from 178 to 180. I think from 178 onwards is a new Neo Geo BIOS, I think. Check that out guys, so if you are using the latest main, having problems running any of the ROMs, make sure you've got the updated, uh, updated BIOS. I'm getting uh, my ass handed to me here now, <laughs> because uh, I am not good at this game at all. Last guy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure it's that the graphics that was going with his 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 fast um, fist movement was that correct there. I'm not sure, but to me, you know, without knowing the game intimately, um, plays perfectly fine and main as well. Alright guys, let's finish up. 